welcome back doing another job here on the farm I am collecting a straw okay. I already did one bale previously to that one uh, before I realized I needed to up the size of the bale so yes but all the fields are harvested I have about mm, 44,000 liters of soybeans ready to be sold in next year, summertime next year. Um, I also managed to cut the grass on my grass field, which is also a good thing. <coughs> just then I just keep on going with a bale here. Um, let's see. I like to use this tool in front, as you can tell, because it allows me to cut down on the number of turns I need to make, I guess, or passes. Um, got some news about next combine. Um, I was looking at the, I was doing it wrong, I was looking at the next combat, uh, combat uh, combine that could hold twice as much in its hang. Um, turns out that even though it can do that, the header isn't that much bigger. It's like one and a half meters bigger only, or five feet. So, yeah, that's not quite what I was looking for. I wanted something that was a little bit more, ooh, I don't know, what do you call it? Um, at least twice the width, like a, at least a 10 meter uh, or 30 feet uh, header. That way I could definitely get the job done much quicker. And there is actually a combine that um, will handle that. Actually the header is 41 feet or 12.3 meters or something. So that is the one I'm aiming for. Uh, I would have to lease it. And it's going to cost me about 50% more per month to lease the header and the combine compared to what I'm paying now for my current leasing equipment. Hey, you missed that. I don't like it. Pick it up. Thank you. So that's a bit of a slight issue. It just means... I say slight because it probably shouldn't be an issue really. Just to get a good combine. But the good thing is, I don't need to rent it just yet. Uh, I'm done for the year with the harvesting. So it's not until it's time next year that I will be getting that one. So until then, I will just keep trying to save the money that I have and make at the sales and stuff. And then... Um, Just go from there, I guess. I think that's a good way to think about it. I guess. Um, so, uh, as I suspected, this field and the uh, other field, the middle field, they are actually very close to the same size. I got about the same amount of, of uh, soybeans from each of them, which is a little bit over 18,000 liters each, um, which is basically a full trailer of what I have. And that is another thing that I have to update as well uh, going forward. I have to get a bigger trailer. But I noticed that I need a bigger tractor because as it is right now, the trailer as it fills up, it starts to slip on the field, which is not a good thing. Um, which means I need a bigger, stronger tractor. Um, but with a bigger combine, it can hold 14,000 liters. So it's basically one emptying out of that and then one emptying out of the trailer. And that sort of will handle that for now. 
and then the following year unless I get very lucky and there is someone selling a used vehicle I will pick up a, if possible a T8 or maybe something even bigger in terms of um, tractors I do like the New Holland it's it, uh, it's become a blue farm because of the New Holland tractors and well, a little bit of a yellow farm because of the New Holland telehandle but still New Holland it is for now and there is a New Holland combines as well so I will try and stick to the theme which is great I like to do that if possible it's not always possible but Do we get another empty here before? Yes, we do. Perfect. Yeah. Need a bit of Boxing. There we go. Yeah. Don't get too many of those huge bales, but I still get plenty, I believe. Um, definitely worth it. Do baling if you can. It's a good income. It's sort of like a side income from your main harvest. Um, so I will be keep doing that. I may be switching over to a square baler though, eventually, so I can move without having to stop and all that. As I am very close to the place that I usually sell my bales to, I usually have a good best price when it comes to selling. Then a few extra trips because I can't carry as many bales, it's okay. So, but we'll see about that. The square balers are a bit more expensive. Mm, I guess mainly because of what they are capable of doing compared to the round balers. I won't get a baler wrapper combo, I think. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. That's something that is further down the line because I only do wrapping of the grass bales. So don't need to do that just yet so don't need to worry about upgrading that part I believe yeah I believe I'm right so a few more passes now if I had a bigger um, tool in the front I could probably get all those lines there but I don't so I can't which is fine I'll just do what I can Go for the outer lines here. Yep. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 with this one. And then one more from the last row there, maybe. Ah, uh, should maybe get two more. So maybe 12 bales on this one of this uh, 180 cm size, the biggest size of round bales. That would be nice. Probably mean I'll get the same amount on that field there. Still not sure what I get on the last field, but time will tell. It's getting filled up in there. There's another bale coming out soon. Here 
There we go. Yay. Almost, almost, almost done. The first field. There we go. Turning radius isn't, isn't the greatest, but it works. A little bit of finagling. question is, what do I plant next season on my fields? I have to see what is possible and also something that doesn't leave them be um, too long. I also believe it's time to do another soil sampling on all my fields. Need more updated information than what I have at the moment. It's been a while since I did last time, so see what I can find and see which crop might be a good addition to me. He got his field planted there. Oh, that's the guy that has to... <coughs> that's the field that is still weeded. Weeding. Weeded. Weeded. With weed. There we go. There we go. Started over here, I guess. In this field, the uh, surrounding fields are slightly closer, at least on the north side here. I don't know if that is the north side, but in front here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, that is awesome. Well, I guess it's not too close. I should be able to make a turn there. Make a U-turn. I can make a wider U-turn. Sorry about that. So one, two, three, four. So that would be this one then, if possible. Not ideal, but. Now you may wonder why do I leave four rows when I can only collect two? Well, you will find out. Or am I doing it wrong? No, it should be okay. Get done before we get off the field. Doesn't matter, I own the land. But yes, you did. 
Nice. Get this collected a little bit better here. Yep, good. I do believe I do save the time of doing this combine instead of doing a um, windrow path pass first and then do the come collection of the bale. But, because right now I can do it like this, because my combine is so small that it leaves furrows that is just within reach, basically. I can sort that out later. Ooh, another full bale coming up. There we go. I like the farm. <coughs> it's nice. It's coming out nicely. It's homely, I guess you could call it. That's what I'm calling it. Mainly because I placed all the equipment or the, well, the buildings and all that. All it kind of needs to be even more homely is, I guess, a better farmhouse, which I will get to eventually. But for now, I have to make do with the one that I got when I moved in here. It serves its purpose well, so I don't feel the need to spend the money to upgrade it. We're getting a more nicer looking structure just yet. It's so many other things that take priority when it comes to spending money on the farm here. Don't know if I mention it, but I'm thinking of collecting bees. Well, not collecting bees, but you know, having bees and beehives and such. It's a. Um, I'm I'm not that big a honey myself, but bees are an integral part of our eco ecosystem. So having some bees would just help with the bee population in general. And that is a good thing, I believe. Well, how did I keep missing? There we go. Again, I missed. I'm just making a mess. By trying to clean up another mess here. Um, so, yeah, beehives. Um, get the big one. It's not too expensive, which is good, but it's also surprising why not more people are doing it, I guess. One, two, three, four, I guess this is the better one to go for here. Even though it doesn't make sense as such. 
Um, so yeah, that's an option. That's a good option, I believe. Getting bees. Just need to find a spot for it. And then the honey is a, is a nice side income as well. I guess. Need to read up about the care for bees first, though, before I jump into doing that. But something for the future. So, there we go. Could be well worth it, I think. And as I said in the last episode, which I will call the episode that I thought I recorded, but didn't happen. For now, it's just about making money. Not just about making money, it's sustainability and all that as well, but I still have to focus on making money. And the more I do on my farm, the less time I have to do work on other farms. So, getting a bigger combine, I guess, it's a nice addition to that. It speeds up the work I have to do on my own farm, and I can also possibly do, you know, make use of it on other farms. We're just at the edge. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that. We leave that be for now. Let's just make furrows in the field by just going back and forth all the time, trying to collect a little bit of straw. Well, we're almost done with field number two. Doesn't take too long. It's quicker when if you know what you're doing and are able to determine the width of your equipment which I am almost able to do I mean I've been having it for so long I should be able to know what size it is let's make a right turn up ahead or something Good enough. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it seems we're getting a little bit more on this one. Got 13 on the other one. 13 and a small one. So, but if I get 13 large one on this one, then... Granted, I did have a little bit of straw left in the baler as I moved over here, but it's all good, it's all mine. Oops. Okay. Last row here, and then time to mop up the crappy stuff. The small pieces that I left behind because I couldn't grab it. Wouldn't be too difficult though. Yeah, I'm gonna have the grass there, I'll do that last. 
just want to get all the straw out of the way first. Looks like I've got a big stack of straw over in the storage over there, so I will be sitting pretty in terms of cash coming in, I believe. Go. I guess I could lower my overhead. Like I said, you know, it's going to cost me 50% more in um, leasing costs when I add the new combine to the roster. Um, I guess I could lower that a bit by maybe getting rid of one of my tractors it won't do much difference because I did outright buy my T7 I believe um, still paying off a leasing cost on a T6 but that is um, okay I can sell my T-Sticks, but be down one tractor. We'll save a little bit on the leasing cost of the... Cut down on the leasing cost for a bit. And I guess if I'm not going to be... Getting any more fields for a bit, I guess I don't need to still lease the cultivator. Still need the cedar, the sprayer, the fertilizer. Um, still need all of those things. The um, telehandler does cost a nice chunk of the leasing cost. However, I do believe that I will keep it around because I like it I'm getting used to it so replacing it with something else like putting front loading attachments on the tractor while an option it's not an option for me I think I don't want to do that Okay. Then we just have the stuff up here, and then we have to go to field 17 and do the same thing over there. Okay, let's get in position here. Not that much that is needing to be cleaned up here. Unless there was something on the middle there as well. I've missed. I will look into that. Did I miss some spots here? Doesn't look though. Okay, good. I believe I will start up here because that's the narrow end. I should have come up the other way. Okay. I can adjust.
There we go. Missed the spot. Anyway, I will continue doing this and yeah. And then we'll see what happens next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me work. And I do hope I see you next time. Until then, please do take care. Bye-bye.